Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. And I have a 12 by 16 inch pre-primed black canvas. And usually I would prime this again, but I don't really have time for that right now. So I'm thinking that I'm going to give myself, and usually so, some black and some other colors. And swipe things in to my sky because I can. And I want to experiment and I'm having fun playing today. And that is a dioxazine purple with iridescent pearl fine in it. And that is a Grumbacher or Academy Prussian blue. That is an iridescent metallic Venetian blue from Modern Masters. That is a peacock from Deco Art Americana um, metallic. And do I want a little bit more of anything? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I was. <laughs> we just cleared all the bottles. We have. Really? That was awesome. <laughs> ah, that was. I didn't get you though. So, Joe is visiting today. So, this is my sky. We're going to put some land in this and put a tree on it. The less I do this right now, the less my colors will blend and the happier I'll probably be. I'd like to have enough to wipe over my edges, but right at the moment it's not so important to me to worry about it. I say that and then you know you cannot trust me. But I'm going to lose some of the things that I really like, being that peacock for one of them. I think I'm going to give myself just the pleasure of some mountains right now. In the easiest way I can. Rude thing. Okay, whatever. Grab an edge catcher. Let's. I wish I had a little tiny one, and you know what? I actually do. I'm gonna use a little tiny edge catcher. I hope it'll catch some paint. I will show you, and I will show Joe, and I will pull that. Darn dog hair out. Wow. I'm going to put my little tiny edge catcher back down again. Let all the paint run off. And I need to have my mountains move up and cover. I see that dog hair. And I raise you a spatula. No matter what I do now, that looks like snow on a mountaintop at night. Frozen lake. Big bubble. No more. I like having a pre-primed canvas to work on because it means there's one layer already filling the canvas texture. I want some purple there. I just had some and I really liked it, so I'm going to do it. And I don't have to put a line in because it's about pulling it. Okay, i got to go all the way across. I'm just going to add some texture, and that's the way it goes. So right now, I have enough paint on my spatula to get rid of on the edge of my canvas. And no reason not to just go ahead and do that. And I can do it afterwards too, and I probably will. And I should show you guys that, because I think it's fine. And whatever kind of tree we're going to have, I'm going to just go ahead. Sorry, didn't mean to make your head spin. Um, give myself some some paint colors. I have.
have some new copper and I can lay my hands on it. Some, yes it is, there we go. The copper is a new Decord Americana metallic copper. I'm going to throw some silver in there. I don't have any idea what I'm doing at all, but it doesn't matter if the colors are kind of surreal because I'm going to like that. I just need to have the right amount of paint so that I can tip it and I want some black. I like to try new things every time if I can possibly manage it. And I still have an edge catcher. And if I need more paint, I'll put it in there. And I might want to do that sooner than later. Let's have some purple in there. Maybe a little more turquoise. Oh, uh, yeah. So you can see that to me it really doesn't make that much difference how the paint goes in, that it's going to be interesting as it reconfigures itself because I'm tipping it. So I'm just going to let all that go right over. I'm going to rock my edge catcher to cover my edge, but I'm going to allow a big pool of paint there. I'm going to throw it right back again, send it right across. Wish I had smaller edge catchers. And know that there's one under there. Yes. Oh, cool. Ha! Ah, finally. All right. So I just kind of want to leave that right like it is, but I'm not going to. I kind of like the idea of putting some more of this copper down here. Do I? Maybe I don't. Maybe some black instead, because I like the way the black looks. So much for wanting a tree. <laughs> Sorry. This whole thing is to try and give us a nice scape for a tree. So I've got my paint. And first I'm going to flip it right back up into the painting. Just use the edge catcher where I want it so I don't pick up paint along the sides. And I just remember there was no paint on this side, so that was kind of dumb. But I could take all the paint I want off my edge catcher. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> With my spatula and put it in the painting. And I am going to do that right now. And I'll show you guys that before we put our tree in it. Because that's what this was supposed to be about. And if I have any more paint on my edge catcher, I can put it on the other side of the canvas. And look, I do. I'm going to quick like a bunny. Hope that there is, that that paint is spread out enough. You know what? I need a little bit more there. I just saw that. Let me grab a spatula. Fill in my black. Get rid of my spatulas. Whoops. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure what that is. But if there's moonlight, I don't like it when it does that, but then I go back. I can usually deal with something with a skewer. In this case, I'm going to steal a little paint and cover my edge. Okay, so 
get rid of that edge catcher. Make up a small shovel full of color, which is really difficult right now because I need to move that off without it falling down. Okay, so tree. Blue? No, maybe. Let's see. I'm not sure. I know there's purple coming. I can feel it. Why don't we just put everything we want in there? Depending on its willingness to come out of a bottle. I thought we cleared all these. There's always one. So this is definitely not a realistic tree. And I think I'm going to have it over to one side. I want some of, I want just want all the same colors I had already. I'm even tempted to put a skewer in there. Whoops. <laughs> golden afterwards or you've got that huh let's put a little copper in there too okay here goes nothing wow pretty colors in my shovel where's my tree going over here Just making, making a tree until I run out of dribbles. Not sure about all that green. I did have somebody ask me to make a tree with spirals. It's kind of a fugly weird tree, honestly. But sometimes I feel that way about things as I go along and then I change my mind the next day. And I can always dribble something over it, I suppose. So let me... Mix the peacock and the purple and whatever's in my shovel. Let's just play with that for a minute. Not my prettiest tree, but kind of outstanding in that it's peculiar. Mm -hmm. And spirals, because Sally asked. How about a tree with spirals, she said. What other colors do I want in there? Do I want anything? I'm kind of liking it better than I liked it when I started. So that means I should show you guys and tell you guys that there's over 91,000 subscribers on my channel and if you want to help me out, watch the videos longer because the longer you watch them, the more likely they are to notice me at YouTube and give me better placement because everybody else is getting thousands of views and I'm getting hundreds. 
I love you guys. If you're looking for more videos, I've got them. I've got 1,700, and you can find them by going to all playlists and creative playlists on my YouTube channel. And you can find my YouTube channel by just clicking my, my, my face, my avatar, right on any video. Thank you guys for all the comments that keep me keep my morale boosted. Thank you for the donations that have helped keep me painting all this time. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link below the link tree that's underneath the video where you can find my books and the OXO omelet turning spatula, flip and fold, two sizes, and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, my favorite being the number one. And everything but the number seven is a favorite of mine actually, so I might as well just admit that now. I think I'm gonna torch this to release some bubbles. I kind of want one more branch in there. And I think I can take my skewer and just add it with a dribble. I hope. That's better. I like that more. So I love you guys. I've got two minutes to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, which is under the link tree is pixels.com, Fire Nerd America, and you can shop there for all of my designs. And I'm so distracted today, I can't even tell you. Under the link tree, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. My Teespring clothing is below the video for all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. The community board on my Facebook, excuse me, the community board on my YouTube channel will have tomorrow's video. You can ask me questions and look for my paint pouring recipe under the description under the video. Please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Share my videos when you can, especially to groups. It's a huge help to me. And um, what else, what else, what else? I said about the videos, so we're all set, basically. Tomorrow's video is on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, which is a Facebook group and findable on the link tree near Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation, excuse me, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More has shopping, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors has the edited artworks. If you guys would are interested in contacting me, my email address is below the link tree, and if you are interested in making a purchase, include the hashtag for the painting when you communicate with me and that way it'll make it easier for both of us to find that and I will respond to your email. Also, I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Yay! And I will talk to you guys anon. I'm going to probably torch this one more time and call it good and if I can move the painting I will zoom in for you as best I can. the place where there's little cells. I kind of like that bottom. Mm -hmm. Those are nice cells. The tree is much nicer than I thought it was when I did it. I kind of like it. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, have a good day. Bye for now. Priscilla out.